and deeper learning really is at the heart of our design. Um, really because for us, first and foremost, when we think about learning in general, um, it starts with the students. So we really try to leverage their passions, their interests, and their strengths, and we build curricula around them. So when we, like from the onset, when we start thinking about building learning structures and experiences and um, frameworks around student learning, we use the students as the starting point. Mm -hmm. So like, before we even start talking about standards and skills and all that, we, we really feel that authentically we have to start with the students. Starting with the students' interests and passions, um, we try to connect them with a, a professional in the industry uh, through the process of the internship program. So we link them with a professional in the industry around an interest of theirs. That's first and foremost. Um, through the work of the advisor, the advisor is like sort of the glue in this equation for deeper learning for students. Why is because they help facilitate the learning process. They help facilitate the relationship between the students and this professional, this mentor. Um, and then they guide sort of the learning structures around what the students are doing. Typically, it evolves as a project. It doesn't always have to be a project, um, but the word authenticity is really important when we think about deeper learning um, for the Big Picture Network. And authenticity means a lot of things to us. The first and foremost, um, it has to have purpose and meaning to the students. So it's not something that I feel is important for the student to be learning. The student has a lot of ownership and say in what they're working on. So their work is not only just for a grade, uh, but that their work has larger meaning and impact on the site. Mm -hmm. So that's extremely important for us. Mm -hmm. uh, the other component is relevancy mm -hmm. when we think about deeper learning. So I've said it a little bit before, but it has to be connected to the students, their passions, their worlds, mm -hmm. um, in a meaningful way. Mm -hmm. And the last but not least is the rigor. You have the socio-emotional learning skills, which are extremely important. Some call it 21st century skills, extremely important. But we have the industry skills that young people are starting to develop uh, at their internship experience. But these are the real hands-on, concrete, industrial, professional skills that they're developing. And last but not least, the academic skills. So where is the literacy, the numeracy, um, the history, the science, et cetera, et cetera. It's, uh, a very fine collaboration between all those elements um, and that to us defines deeper learning. In the California system we have to make sure they meet all A to G requirements and we do that Monday, Wednesday and Friday for academic classes. On Tuesdays and Thursdays our students spend the full day out at internships. They have to work a minimum of four hours a day. Many of our students work a lot more than that. Um, and it, it, that's when they're really working that big picture side of following their passions and developing their own internship-based projects. Mm -hmm. And so the structures that need to be in place for a deeper learning school, first, I think, is a high amount of collaboration and adults that are working in a context where we are co-planning, co-creating a vision for the school. Um, that is hard to do since most educators really are coming from a siloed idea of their content being taught in a single classroom over the course of an hour or an hour and a half. Uh, the second condition we have to have is relationships that exist not just between adults, but really purposeful relationships with students, uh, getting to know the students well, personalizing. Um, and so a big part of that structure is, you know, whether it's like a project-based learning or inquiry-based learning, as long, in my opinion, as the learning really is derived from questions and curiosities and student-driven initiatives, that's what's most key for the deeper learning.